Good afternoon, boys and girls. I hope each of you were able to pick up your packet from school today. It looks something like this. It says week one at the top, and we are gonna have one for every week that this is going on. So there's a, a subject for literacy, sight words, writing, and math. If you have any questions, parents, feel free to message me on our mind and I'll try to help you out. The literacy section has an activity to do with a book every day. So if um, you do not have a book at home that you feel like you can complete the activity with, I will be posting a video every day of a read aloud and feel free to do that activity with a book I read aloud. So today I'm going to be sharing the book called The Little Yellow Chick. Since we have chicks hatching, I thought it would be a great book to do. That's what we were gonna do this week at school was to learn about chicks. So this is called The Little Yellow Chick and it's by Joy Callie. And boys and girls, I want you to listen as I'm reading the book and think about if it reminds you of another story that we have read. The Little Yellow Chick. The Little Yellow Chicken thought he'd have a party. He said to his friends, will you help me do the shopping? His friends laughed at him. Hop it, said the frog. Buzz off, said the bee. And the big brown beetle said, stop bugging me. So the little ye yellow chicken went shopping by himself. When the shopping was done, the little yellow chicken said to his friends, will you help me do the cooking? His friends shook their head. Hop it, said the frog. Buzz off, said the bee. And the big brown beetle said, stop bugging me. So the little yellow chicken did the cooking by himself. When the cooking was done, the little yellow chicken said to his friends, will you help me set the table? His friends turned their back. Hop it, said the frog. Buzz off, said the bee. And the big brown beetle said, stop bugging me. So the little yellow chicken set the table by himself. Everything was ready for the party. The food smelled delicious. The friends knocked on the little yellow chicken's door. I'm hungry, said the frog. I'm starving, said the bee. And the big brown beetle said, hey, what about me? The little yellow chicken phoned his grandmother. Guess who his grandma was? The little red hen. My friends wouldn't help me, he said. Now they want to come to my party. What shall I do? What do you think the little red hen told the little chick to do? Think about the story that we read about the little red hen and what did she tell her friends? Don't let them in, said the little red hen. Eat all the food yourself. But the little yellow chicken was a kind little chicken. He thought and thought. Then he opened the door. Welcome to my party, he said to his friends. Did he do the same thing the little red hen did or did he do something different? Fantastic, said the frog. Amazing, said the bee. And the big brown beetle said, a scrumptious tea. Then they said to the little yellow chicken, we're sorry we're lazy. And next time we have a party, we'll do all the work. So they realized they weren't being very good friends. They said next time they're gonna do all the work. That's a good idea, said the little yellow chicken. So think about how this story is the same or different from the little red hen. And your assignment for literacy for Monday was to draw a picture of the book you're reading and tell an adult your favorite part. If you would like to complete that activity and have your parents send it to me, I'd love to see it. Good afternoon, boys. I'll see you tomorrow.